like it's working right now. There is a few issues. First issue is the brightness is low when it's first turned on. It's supposed to be a certain bright brightness based on the photoresistor. So I'm going to look, double check the code and everything and the circuit to make sure I did that right. Um, the other thing is the compass. See how it uh, it's it's not calibrated, so the, all I need to do is calibrate it, which won't be too hard. It's time to connect pins for programming. Go ahead and connect up to the computer all these cables. Then I'll plug in TTY USB serial reader. So now you can actually see that I can bring up the programming reader. If I go into tools and then serial monitor, and then whenever I turn on the watch. You can see that it's showing the time because that's just part of the thing I've programmed it to do for debugging and things like that. So what I need to do is run the calibration program, this, and then grab this calibration program, paste into here, and then make sure the board is correct, AGTiny167, COM4, Arduino is ISP. I need to switch out these the wire.h for tiny wire which will make it work for the 167 so let's upload now looks like I put the wrong pin for reset the reset pin is actually 10 not 3 so I'm gonna try and do this again uploading alright now you can see it is uploading it's transferring to the chip on here alright looks like it finished change back the COM port, go into tools, and go into serial monitor. I'm getting a bunch of data, and this now is giving me the max and min values for the compass. What I'm doing now is just going to rotate, just rotate the compass in every single direction, and then it's going to give me the right data that I need um, for the compass. And then I'll pr plug that data into the program. Okay, now what I'm going to do is pause this, copy this, control C. Now I can go into the Watch 167 program. And down here, I have the min and max vectors. And so what I just need to do is plug in these two arrays for min and also max and you can see these these are a lot different values so the compass was way off calibration and here we go we're uploading the watch program okay let's turn up the brightness real quick Now you can see that the compass is fully calibrated. Now just time to fix the brightness. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with that. Let me see if I can get that fixed. So I figured out what I did wrong with the brightness. So what I was supposed to do was put the um, photoresistor here. Instead I put it on the RX and TX port. So all I need to do is just move it back to there. It should be up here instead of down there. So I need to move that. Alright, so here's the legacy we have. Actually, this one was first. With the board for the Arduino, it had the ATtiny85 chip, which didn't have that much memory, didn't have much 
um, flash storage and they all are on separate modules and then the second one was this one it's all modules as well basically but it, there's also a board to fit everything together nicely and then the switch is kind of small here the charging port is big and then it also has the port here to program it this one is using the ATtiny 167 but it's on a module it's not like uniform then the one after that was actually the current well the one after that was the one I have put together as a watch I've got a 3d printed case and everything works on here nicely and that was the third one this is also thir the third generation one it's just different board here but once again there are different modules on here like the compass module and that's one thing that was added from these there's a compass module on here and then finally we get up to what we have now which this is the one I just built and everything is lied out on the board so there's no more modules any of the modules were I looked at the schematics and light them all out onto a single board and then there's also a port here for charging and programming so the only thing here that I should have done is put the switch on the bottom of the board and the two buttons on the bottom of the board and then it would be more compact and here you can see what the new board looks like this is where the RTC module goes for keeping track of the time this is the pr main processor ATtiny 167 this is the compass chip these are just some capacitors and resistors these two are LEDs this is where the battery goes to keep track of the time this is an array of 10k resistors this is for the switch this is for the buttons and then this right here is for the charging chip this is a transistor so yeah that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you like these types of videos.